So in this video, we are going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions. So we're going to start with um, similar fractions. So similar fractions are fractions having the same denominators. So how do we add or subtract this kind of fractions? So we're going to start with adding. We have 3 fourths plus 1 fourths. So we are going to copy the denominator since it's the same. And the top is just added directly. 3 plus 1 is 4. So it's going to be 4 over 4. But of course we have to, we always have to reduce it in the simplest form. So 4 divided by 4 is divisible. That means 4 over 4 is 1. The second one is um, subtraction. So the same thing, if it's the same denominator, we just copy the denominator 4 and then the top we are going to subtract it. So the result will be 3 minus 1 is 2 and then copy the denominator 4. But then as I said, always reduce your answer in, in simplest form. So that means as long as the numerator and denominator are divisible by a common number, you have to divide it to so just like 2 and 4, both are divisible by 2. So you divide it, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then since 1 and 2 doesn't have any more common divisor except for 1, then that means that is the final answer. Alright, now how about if we have dissimilar fractions, that means these fractions doesn't have the same denominator. So observe that our given is having two different denominators, it's 5 and 2. So we cannot just simply add the numerators directly. So how to solve it? So we're going to start with equal sign and then we are going to multiply the two denominators, 5 and 2, so 5 times 2 is 10. And then we're going to do cross multiplication. So we have 4 times 2 is 8. So we're going to put it on top. And the same thing on the other side. We have a 5 times 1 is 5. And then copy the operation plus. And then combine the top. 8 plus 5 is 13. And then just copy the denominator. And then that's it. But then this is an improper fraction. So we have to change it into a mixed form. So we're going to discuss separately in how to how to do it. But for now, let me just show you the mixed form of this improper fraction. And what is an improper fraction? When the fraction uh, fractions numerator is bigger than the denominator. So we always write it in mixed form as the final answer. Now for the second one, it's a subtraction. So we are going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply uh, the denominators. We only do this when it is dissimilar fractions. So 5 times 2 is 10. Then we cross multiply 4 times 2 is 8. Minus 5 times 1 is 5. So it's the same procedure as the previous one, except that it is now subtraction. So 8 minus 5 is 3, and then copy the denominator 10. So the answer is 3 tenths. Now, how about if it's a whole number plus a fraction? So for addition, 5 plus 2 thirds. So what you're going to do is just to copy the whole number and put the fraction. So just put them together, and that's the answer, 5 and 2 thirds. But if it's subtraction, it's um, it's a little different. So you have to write the whole number in fraction form, form by putting 1 at the bottom. So 5 and 5 over 1 is just basically the same. You are just putting the invisible denominator 1 because you don't have to write 1. But for now, we'll just put it for solving this fraction. So we'll just copy the minus 2 thirds. And then do the same thing. You multiply the denominator 1 times 3. That's 3. And then cross multiply 5 times 3 is 15. And then copy the operation minus 1 times 2 is 2. 
then calculate the top 15 minus 2 is 13 and then copy the denominator 3 but then again we have a, um, an answer of an improper fraction so we're going to write it in mixed form and as i said we're going to discuss separately this topic of changing improper fraction to mixed form so the final answer is four and one thirds now how about if it's a mixed number and um, a fraction so how do we add or subtract so let's discuss first on how we add this the first thing to do is to change the, the mixed form into improper so we um, just copy the denominator first and then we are going to uh, multiply 3 times 4 is 12 and then 12 plus 2 is 14 so that's how we figure out the numerator in changing the mix to improper with times and then plus and then just copy the, the second term which is plus one half then do the same procedure as the previous slides we do multiply the denominator 3 times 2 is 6 cross multiply 2 times 14 is 28 3 times 1 is 3 and then um, we combine the top so 28 plus 3 is 31 and copy the denominator 6 then we change this improper fraction to mixed form so as I said whenever you change whenever it, the answer is improper change it to a mixed uh, form or a mixed number now but if we are subtracting a mixed number and a fraction so do the same procedure change the the mix into improper by multiplying and adding to get the numerator 14 and then copy the second term minus one half then cross multiply so three times two is six and then 14 times two is 28 and then copy the minus sign then cross multiply again three times one is three then we are going to combine to the top so 28 minus 3 is 25 and then copy the bottom then again it's a in a, it's an improper fraction so we're gonna um, change it into mixed form so 25 over 6 in mixed is 4 and 1 6 now how about if the two givens are both mixed numbers so how do we combine them how do we, how do we add or subtract so first thing to do is to change both into improper form so we do multiply and then add to get the numerator 4 times 3 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 and then just copy the denominator so and then copy the plus and then we're going to do the same in the second term 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 and copy the denominator and then we proceed to adding the two uh, similar fractions so 3 times 2 is 6 14 times 2 is 28 plus 3 times 3 is 9 so 28 plus 9 is 37 and then copy the denominator 6 then change this improper form into a mixed number so it's 6 and 1 sixth now for subtraction we'll do the same procedure change both terms into improper form just as the previous um, process then we're going to multiply the bottom 3 times 2 is 6 14 times 2 is 28 then copy the minus sign and then 3 times 3 is 9 so subtract the top 28 minus 9 is 19 then copy the denominator 6 so again it's an improper form so we change it to mixed form 19 over 6 in mixed is 3 and 1 sixth now how about if it's a whole number and a mixed number so for adding we just simply add uh, the whole numbers 3 and 1 it's 4 and then copy the fraction form 1 fourth so that's how simple it is when it's adding 
a whole number and a and a mixed number. But if it's um, if it's subtraction, it's a little different. You can do that directly. You're gonna just simply subtract three minus one and two, and then one fourth. It is not uh, being done in that in that way. If it's subtraction, so first thing to do is to write this um, this mixed uh, form into improper, as well as this um, whole number into uh, a fraction. So it's going to be three over one, and then minus. So change it, change the mix into improper. So four times one is four. Four plus one is five, and then copy the denominator four. Then we multiply the bottom. So one times four is four. Three times four is twelve, and one times five is five. Then combine the top. We have twelve minus five is 7 and then copy the denominator 4 then since it's an improper form we are going to change it to mixed so the mixed form of 7 fourths is 1 and 3 fourths